In addition to GMC offering the Sierra model in a 1500 configuration, it's also available in a 2500 and 3500 HD configuration, which looks very similar aesthetically speaking, but has much higher payload and towing capacity. This 2004 3500 HD is part of the first generation of that heavy duty series lineup of the Sierra, sold from the 1999 to 2006 model year. The Sierra 2500 and 3500 models are available in a regular cab, super cab, or crew cab configuration, and then you have a choice of a short bed or long bed, and they also have the option of a dual axle in the rear. This specific vehicle is the crew cab model with the long bed. Now it is worth noting that the Sierra is the mechanical equivalent to the Chevy Silverado. The two trucks are nearly identical. The only real differences between them is the front end design is slightly different, tail lights are different on the rear, and then inside we've got a few different logo uh, applications that separate the two, but otherwise you're pretty much getting the same truck whether you get the Sierra or the Silverado. So it mostly comes down to styling and price. Generally the Sierras are slightly more expensive, um, but I prefer the styling that you get with the Sierra when compared with the Silverado. Uh, both do look pretty good overall, although it is worth noting that in 2003 they did a minor refresh to both the Silverado and the Sierra. The Silverado took on a little bit of a Chevy Avalanche look on the front end, whereas the Sierra maintains a much more conservative look. This is the direction that I would go if I was choosing between the two. Now, the refresh that they did in 2003 to the Sierra, they kind of pull out the grill this direction and then drop it down in the middle. Otherwise, the headlight design pretty much stays the same, and then we see a few differences to the front bumper as well. You will see that we've got integrated fog lights down below, as well as tow hooks. And overall, it's got a pretty nice clean look to it. Now the Sierra was available in a number of different trim package configurations. The base model is the SL, then we've got the SLE. This is the SLT model, which is one of the higher end trim packages. And then they also offered the Denali model, which is the top of the line luxury model. Uh, with the SLT package, we get the white fender flares, slightly upgraded wheel package, and then inside the vehicle, you'll see that it's very heavily loaded with luxury features. Now with the heavy duty model, we do get these tow mirrors, which really help to increase visibility. We've also got the inset there, giving you two different angles for improved visibility. You also see that this is the Duramax diesel model, so you get additional badge down here. And you will see this truck's seen a little bit of abuse over the years. It's got some dents, some scratches, a little bit of wear, but still a really solid truck for a vehicle that's really getting up there in age and mileage. Now on the back of the truck, as I mentioned before, it's got a slightly different tail light design than what we get with that Silverado. Very minor difference. And then of course the GMC and Sierra logos instead of the Silverado. Let's see, massive bed back here. And then of course, this is a four wheel drive model. Uh, Sierra is also available in rear wheel drive. Uh, you also get a larger tailpipe with the Duramax diesel. It's one way that you can always tell the diesel models apart from the gas models. But overall, really great looking truck. Um, I think that this generation of the Sierra in particular has aged really well um, and continues to be a really good looking truck many years after it was first produced. Now, as much as the exterior styling on the Sierra is really nice, where it really shines is on the inside. It's got a really great interior. Within this era, without a doubt, the Silverado and the Sierra offer the nicest interiors within the heavy duty truck segment. You'll see that it's got a really clean overall layout with a lot of really great features and options. We've got full leather seating, leather wrapped steering wheel, and a lot of available luxury and tech features. This model's got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, heated seats for driver and front passenger, memory settings for two drivers. We've got a Bose premium audio system. Driver's seat is full power with lumbar support. We've got automatic headlights, we've got fog lights. On the steering wheel, we've got controls for audio, trip information and fuel economy information, number of vehicle settings and audio controls. See a pretty clean overall instrument cluster. And then our center dash, we've got our audio system, which is AM FM radio, and then it's also got a six disc CD player. We've got dual zone climate control, cigarette lighter and a 12 volt outlet, some storage compartments, 
cup holders and more storage space, and then a nice large center console. You'll see that our mirror is also self-dimming with integrated OnStar functionality. And then in the upper right hand corner, we've also got a temperature readout. Up above, we've got another storage compartment and a couple of reading lights. Our driver and passenger seat also have armrests on the inside. And then jumping into the back seat, you'll see it's very spacious back here. A lot of space for those rear passengers. Center console's got vents to get air and heat to the rear. And then we've also got rear audio controls and two cup holders. Our center seat does fold down into an armrest with two more cup holders. And then our seats fold up in a 60-40 split allowing you to increase rear cargo space if those seats are not in use. You also see up above, we've got an integrated DVD player and TV screen. This generation of the GMC Sierra was offered with three different powertrain options. The base engine was a six liter gas V8 with 300 horsepower and 360 pound-feet of torque. They also offered the Sierra with an 8.1 liter gas V8, which saw a bump to 340 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque, but this is the powertrain that you want. It's a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel engine that's paired to a five-speed automatic Allison transmission. It's got 300 horsepower and 520 pound-feet of torque. When this vehicle came out back in 1999, it offered the highest tow capacity of any pickup on the market at 11,000 pounds. The other great thing about the diesel engine is that you see a huge bump in fuel economy. Unfortunately, the EPA doesn't publish numbers on heavy duty pickups, but with the diesel engine, you're gonna see an average number probably in the range of about 16 to 17 miles per gallon. Now GM does offer some really nice gas engines on their vehicles, but this Duramax diesel is especially nice and it's got a great sound to it. One of the things I really loved about this engine when it came out is that most other diesels out on the market at its time were very loud and the Duramax is surprisingly quiet. Now, without a doubt, the thing that stands out the most about the Sierra Heavy Duty when compared with the competition is this interior. It's a lot more luxurious than the likes of Ford and Ram. And in a lot of ways, GM was really a pioneer in this sense, kind of creating the first true luxury pickup. And since then, that whole segment has gone in that direction. Ford and Ram uh, have really nice interiors now as well. Um, I'd say that GM's actually kind of fallen behind in recent generations. But again, this first generation of the heavy duty series of the Sierra and the Silverado was really a pioneer within that sense. And it's got a great interior with a lot of really nice luxury features. I love the fact that you can get heated seats. Um, the Bose audio system is really great. The leather seating, the TV is great for kids. Uh, a lot of really uh, solid points with this vehicle. Now, the other thing about the Sierra is that it offers really great overall ride quality, much more so than what you're gonna get from Ram and Ford. It's a much softer ride um, and has pretty good characteristics overall. I feel like the handling's pretty good and it's a very comfortable vehicle to drive for day-to-day -day use. My only real complaint about the uh, drive quality on the Sierra, and this is an issue across the GM truck and SUV lineup from this era, is that the steering's got a lot of play in it. It's very loose and you find that very uh, rarely is the steering wheel actually centered as you're driving straight down the road. It's kind of always at an angle, one direction or the other, and you can just see that it's got a lot of play in it as I continue on a straight tra trajectory. So that's my only real complaint about the Sierra is the steering feels not all that great. Love the fact that we've got a really nice high quality interior and great overall ride quality. You see that as we punch the gas, got a lot of kick uh, very quick and the transmission is very responsive as well I uh, love the whistle that you get with that Duramax as well when you really punch on the throttle it's one of the great things about the Duramax is that it's a very quiet diesel especially for the Sierra and yet at the same time when you punch it it's got a nice sound to it so that's the first generation model of the GMC Sierra heavy duty a very fine pickup all around excellent exterior styling, a really great interior that I would claim is the nicest interior available within a heavy duty pickup from this era. Likewise, we get really great powertrain options available on the Sierra. The gas engines are very good. This diesel engine is even better. 
If you have any comments or questions on the Sierra Heavy Duty, leave them in the section below. For more car and truck reviews, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.